What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It is the day after rifle season. So, the war is over. We're going out looking for survivor boys. And uh, I got Mr. Remy with me. He's up there doing Remy things. And we're gonna hang some trail cameras today. Just start doing inventory for next year, get ready for next year. Try to figure out what's left, what made it. <coughs> Hopefully all of them, but it's probably not not true. Hopefully, the big thing I'm worried about is I don't wanna find any deer that uh, weren't found. So, that's the big thing for today. I really don't wanna find any dead deer. Looks like a good bit of activity coming down into here. That's a good sign. So I'm gonna put a camera here. Always get a lot of activity because Grandpa's on the trail right now. First camera is hung. She's on and locked to the tree. I can't tell you just how important those python locks are that I have on that camera. I've had two people, and I'm on private land, two different people. One had permission to be here, one didn't. Both of them, though, tried to take my camera. Two different cameras. If anybody's looking for a good lock or a good trail camera, I'll have links in the description down below where you guys can pick that kind of stuff up if you're interested in it. Remy, are you happy? You wanna go check out more trail cameras? Come on. Come here. Get your buddy there. All right, we're gonna run to the other side of the property, put up the cellular trail camera back there, and do some more uh, body searching. Well, I'm gonna apologize now for the wind noise. I'm trying to block the mic, but hopefully it'll get better when we get into the woods. Hey, somebody's happy to be out today. All right, well, we're in the woods now. The wind is no better whatsoever, so I'm just gonna get in real quick. And then I think what I wanna do is just walk the edge of the field. Uh, a lot of the times if deer get hurt or injured on this property, they seem to die in the fence row. I'm just gonna walk that fence row. Hope I don't find anything. I just got to the next area I'm gonna hang a camera. There's still an old scrape here. It's funny that it's still uncovered. I mean, there's hair in it too, that's weird. So, there's a deer trail over there. There's one that comes up through there. There's one over there. There's one that comes this way. And there's one that Rem's running up right now. So this is like a giant like mixing bowl right here. And uh, I, th I think this is, this is a pretty good spot. I do have, I have a tree stand just up there. Uh, it's out of bow range. It's a good spot. A lot of deer come walking through here, which is like, that's what I like to key in on when I'm hunting is, the most amount of trails you can find intersecting each other, hunt there. Kind of like increases your odds. So this camera is going to be my cellular. Uh, this is a spy point link micro. So far, I do like it. So hopefully, uh, that just keeps doing its thing, doing its camera deal, taking pictures, and uh, sends them to my phone. I'll tell you one thing, Rem's living his best life today. He's so happy. All right, camera's working. Sent me a picture. So I'm gonna let that thing sit. Uh, right now, uh, doing the free trial. I got 100 pictures a month off of that thing, sent to my phone. I think the next step up is like five bucks a month and you get 250 pictures. So it's a pretty good deal. It's not crazy expensive or anything. So, all right, on to the body search. I've been walking for a little bit. It's walking in the woods. It's real thick in here. I mean, you guys can tell uh, 
haven't found anything yet, which is a good sign. So the last thing I want is to find a, a dead buck. So the the worst spot's going to be the that fence row, like I said. That seems to almost always have a dead deer in it. So for sure next year though, I want to have a stand in here, a climb in here somewhere. It's really, really nice in here. I like this spot. So I'm coming up on the property line up here. And uh, I'll stay on our side. And I'm gonna walk the fence row and hopefully not find anything. A couple deer tracks in the mud here. Some Remy tracks. Nothing too crazy. They do cross here a lot. They like they like crossing through here a lot. Come on, Rem. Looks like somebody. Somebody's recently driven through here on in a truck or four-wheeler maybe. Maybe the farmer, I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep walking up this way, walk down, and then we're gonna work our way back to the truck. I swear that dog. God forbid you stay out of the mud. Made it up here to the corner. Still haven't found anything. Which is good. Hopefully. If I miss anything, Remy will sniff it up. I think he's on a deer trail right now. Looks like it. Hey, see, boy. Come on. Whew. I am sorry for that wind. It's probably brutal. It's brutal out here. Yes, like I said, boys. Looks like a younger deer. I'm just gonna assume uh, there's probably a dead deer in here somewhere. Well, boys, didn't find any dead deer, which is really what we want. So hopefully those trail cameras do their trail camera things, take some pics, start getting inventory for next year. <sighs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.